Hi guys, today we'll discuss about E0 pair effect and its consequences. Okay, it is the tendency of the two electrons. in the outermost atomic s orbital of post transitional elements Okay, right now. This effect is observed in the heavier elements of group. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen elements. Okay, write down. Consider group thirteen elements. Okay, they are boron. Aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium. Okay, the atomic numbers are five, thirteen, thirty-one, forty-nine, and thallium eighty-one. They have the the general electronic configuration as. NS2 NP1 So this is suggest the oxidation state to be common oxidation state is 3 Okay but the heaviest element one of the heaviest element thallium is more likely to form compounds in plus 1 oxidation state in Plus one oxidation state. Okay, let us see why. Okay, thallium has the atomic number of eighty one. Is the second last heaviest element of group thirteen element. So let us write the electronic configuration of thallium. Xenon fifty four, four F fourteen, five D ten, six S two, six P one. Highest principal quantum number is six, since it is in the sixth period. Okay, see. Why thallium increasingly shows the plus one oxidation state as its double oxidation state? After the loss of this electron, thallium shows 
plus one oxidation state. This is because when this one electron is lost, the rest two electrons in the S atomic orbital becomes inert. This is again why? Because the electrons in 4F subcell and 5D subcell, as you know clearly, they can't screen the nucleus properly. They can't screen the nucleus properly. So that the force with which the nucleus of the thallium should attract the electrons in S orbital becomes greater, which we expect should not be like that because due to screening effect. But these two subcells can't screen the nucleus properly. And that's why the nucleus attracts with sufficient energy to these two electrons in S orbital. That's why they become inert. They are not ionized then. Okay. So, so main cause is the improper screening of the 4F and 5D subcell. That's why the two electrons in S subcells becomes inert. Okay, this is what you call it inert pair effect. Could you understand me? Thank you.